All right, we are close to the end. Today we need to look at limiting sum. Can we stop talking, please? The limiting sum of a geometric series. Some series will have a limiting sum, which means that if we were to add all of the terms in the entire series, in other words, inf infinite terms, we would get a set finite sum, one number that would represent the sum of that whole series. It only ever happens if the R, oh I should go and see what he wants, if R is less than one. I know he's distracting, but concentrate. Is he yours? Yes, he's mine. Oh, <laughs> All right. So for it says at the top of the page, for some geometric series, the sum becomes very large. If we have terms here that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, that is not going to have a limiting sum because the terms are getting so large, it'll be increasing exponentially. It's only when the absolute value of R is, so, sorry, if it is greater than one, we can't find a limiting sum. It has an infinite sum. It's only when it's between minus one and one that we can use this formula that we're going to be using today. So when the terms, like in this one, we're multiplying by one fifth. So the formula that we're going to be using, it looks so nice and simple, S to infinity, the sum of infinity terms, the limiting sum, is a over 1 minus r. That's all there is to it. So let's do it. Question 1. Find the limiting sum of half plus 1 sixth plus 1 eighteenth. So all I need to know is a, which is the first term, a half, and I need to know r, which you would find by taking 1 sixth divided by 1 half, which is one third. So the limiting sum formula, sum to infinity of a over one minus r. And we sub in, a is a half, one minus r, which is one third. And just type that in your calculator. So that equals, yeah, or three over four. Good. Question two, find the sum of, so same kind of question, the first term, whoops, the first term is 16. What is R this time? Not negative four. One over four, good. And that means the limiting sum. Write the formula down. Subbing in, A is 16, one minus a quarter. All right, guys, concentrate, please. We don't need all the extra comments. Ben? Question three. If one plus x plus x squared has a limiting sum of five, Let's find out what x is equal to. A is the first term, it's 1. R is, what am I multiplying by each time? X, good. And my limiting sum, or sum to infinity, it has to be equal to 5. Let's put it in our formula. Limiting sum equals a over 1 minus r. So the limiting sum is 5 equals 1 over 1 minus x. And we're solving for x. So times the denominator across to the other side. And we can expand it out at the same time. So that would be 5 minus 5x equals 1. Then subtract the 5 across. Five, negative 5x equals negative 4 and dividing by a negative 5 becomes a positive 4 fifths. And question 4 uh, in our sigma 
notation. You can see because we have the little infinity symbol up here, it's asking me to do a limiting sum. So let's get an idea of what's happening with this series though. The first term would be 3 fifths to the power of, we're starting with r equals 1, so 1 minus 1 would be 0. The second term would be 3 fifths, and then 2 minus 1 would be a power of 1. And just for good measure, let's do the third term. It would be 3 over 5, and 3 minus 1 makes a power of 2. And then we can just go plus dot, 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 because we would have to have infinity terms there if we were actually going to do it all the hard way like that. But now, hopefully we can see what our first term is. 3 over 5 to the power of 0 is just going to be equal to 1. Hmm. The second term would be 3 fifths, and the third term is 9 over 25, squaring the top and squaring the bottom. So I just needed that A was 1, and I need R, which is 3 fifths. So I can find my limiting sum. A is 1, 1 minus 3 fifths. And that's all equal to two and a half. Okay, so it's, that's it. 